Organisations are looking for ways to engage the employees and one way is to make sure that your leadership is available and accessible to ask questions and to share their vision. And there's been a lot of interest in running live events to do this. Microsoft 365 have given us a few ways to run live events. We can go into Microsoft Teams and create a, a special type of meeting called a live event. Uh, we can use a third-party app and get very flash and technical with a, um, a, a highly powered laptop and create different scenes, lower thirds, play pre-recorded video. Um, if you've got the equipment, you can do it. Now I'm looking for a lightweight way uh, to do this and I've discovered a way to do this from a mobile. What's the advantage of that? So we can do it very quickly from the, the CEO's desk. Um, we could do it live on location as long as we've got a good internet connection and I'm going to step through that scenario with us today. We're going to create our live event in Yammer uh, so I can uh, publicize the events, have conversation before, during and after and I can take the, the conversation, hand pick and highlight some of those best comments, take the video, embed it into a SharePoint page, create a real story around it so that we can um, really use it. So the, um, the first thing about this is that when you are using your mobile device, you want to make sure that you've got just a couple more pieces of equipment to improve the quality. You want stable video. So do use a, a mobile tripod and something that holds that phone, a, a mount for it. And I do recommend using um, a mic that you can plug directly into that, to that phone. You could get away with maybe wearing your AirPods or earbuds or something, but it's best to use something that's uh, purpose-built. So drop in a lavalier mic that's built for mobile phones or today I'm going to be using the Rode shotgun mic or the Rode video mic. Right so let's go through and start setting this up. Right we're going to go into our um, town hall uh, Yammer group and create a live events. I'm an owner of the group so I can create that. Um, as we're going through we use Teams at the moment to schedule those live events and to go to a pre-live stage. I don't have to open up um, the full desktop version of Teams, I could do this from within the web app. Alright, we'll go through to Teams and we'll give this event a name. Okay, see a collection in July, a description. And we'll make a choice of what we're going to use for our production environment. We could use Teams. But in this case, we're going to use a external app, and it is on a mobile device. Um, so this next phase, uh, we've, we'll go with the defaults of recording it so that attendees can use it, and I can download that video later and put it somewhere, and we'll schedule that event. This is going to create an uh, attendee link, which I can publicize. Uh, and I'm going to go straight into joining this event as if I were um, on the day that we're going to go live with the CEO. We're going through to Teams now and this is our pre-live phase where we've um, got an environment that I can connect things up. We can go and push the image and everything ready and then I can go, right, let's go live. And we're going to step through this process. We've got a, a link, the RTMP link or the basically the URL that is used to connect to the Microsoft 365 media services uh, and to make this uh, this live. Now I'm going to take that content and we'll copy it and we'll send it through to the CEO's phone and that way we'll be able to use those details and connect live. Alright so that's now on the phone we'll click on over to the phone and take a look Okay, good O, we've got those details, and we'll copy that text. Okay, now the app that I'm going to be using is um, it's called Minicam. There are a couple of other apps that I might do a review on to show you some of the other abilities of, of the app, but this is a good one to use. It allows me to send a, a live stream to all the usual big names like YouTube and Periscope and Facebook, but I can connect to a, a Microsoft Live event URL as well. Alright, so we'll go through to our Minicam app. Okay, and now our app allows us to have three other different scenes. You can see that I've got the, the webcam there as well. I can point it to the, the front facing camera. Um, lots of different other abilities there. Let's just pop in something to be a placeholder. 
all right so that we can um, when it goes live we've got a, a buffer where it's going to start pushing things through and then we can get ready to to go live um, and this is something that will be something of a splash a splash screen so I can switch to that and I've got my splash screen there and when people come into that live stream they'll see that and you know they may they may um, just sit there waiting for the first 20 or 30 seconds when before we go live so we've got that um, next we'll uh, we'll set up this we'll set up this live event connection um, so let's go back to our vertical view okay and that blue button is where we can either choose from our pre-configured live event connections uh, you can see there there's YouTube and Facebook and Periscope I'm going to go and add in um, a new server we'll call this M365 live event yep and we'll paste the URL that we copied from the Teams um, conversation um, now do make sure that you remove that trailing space um, that that will make sure that it's going to connect through to the URL if you have a trailing space it's not going to work and the stream key is included in the URL so there's no need to to take the the whole big stream key and put it there but we do have to put something in this gap so that Minicam um, will be able to initiate the stream so we'll just put hi and done right now we can't quite use it yet what we've got to do now is, is uh, I'll uh, switch back to our desktop view and over in, in the uh, pre-live state we've got to click the start setup and this is going to begin to make the connections so that we can start using the media services it's getting that live event ready and shortly we'll be able to see that yes it's ready to start receiving a, a live uh, live stream so we'll go through that um, while we're doing that I might just uh, go back and show you All right. I'll just show you the the um, stand that I'm using here so that's um, a, a tripod that I'm using and you could put it on a um, taller tripod and place it in all sorts of different um, places to capture capture the uh, the subject it looks like in the background there that it's ready to start receiving our our live stream so we'll just flip this back over just so it doesn't confuse people too much and we're going to go back into our live event uh, streaming connections we've got it all set up to push to the um, live event and we'll tap the M365 live event all right so it is currently um, ready to go live I'm going to I'm going to put the phone into the tripod so that it makes it easier for me to hold okay and I'm using some equipment to capture the capture what's happening on my phone so I would normally plug my my uh, microphone into where the the lightning um, jack is but at the moment it's been used by that equipment so I'll just flick this around here you can see that in the background it is it is uh, pushing through uh, the stream ready to start the event now we'll just use another scene here to try and show you what's going on in both cases all right so we've got the the live event that's uh, set up there in the top uh, right hand corner and then the bottom left hand corner we've got what's happening on the um, the, the mobile um, I might just change this around a bit there we go just so we can keep an eye on that right so we've got our live event ready to go we've got some live stream going through there what we should do now is put the um, splash screen up there right and you'll notice that it's going to be about 20 to 30 seconds before it comes through to that that pre live stage um, so let's just change the order just so you can see that scene um, uh, first close up um, so it's still about 20 to 30 seconds that it, that's uh, playing through 
uh, there we go so it's it's finally caught up to that now on our live event page we're ready to go live um, so we can click start event and this is when it's going to take that feed that it's receiving and it's going to start pushing it through to the the media services and then it's going to come down to um, the the where the audience is viewing this live event and because we've chosen Yammer um, it is sitting there and if we just flick over very quickly now we'll start to see there that it's uh, it's ready to, to go live let's uh, click play you can see when it's a live event uh, which group it's happening into there's that indication there that uh, there's a live event happening in that group all right, so there's our splash screen, and uh, we're about ready to to go back and let's just change the scene up again. Do a few changes here. Let's just bring it up to the front. Okay, um, we can now click on over to our live stream now it's going to be a bit disorienting you can see me talking up in the top left hand corner of this video uh, and that is where i am so that's my live voice and the microphone is matching that but the other two feeds you're going to see might just delay a little bit um you the mobile one is is uh just a maybe a second or two behind and you'll also see shortly in the background that it's going to come through to the live feed um, so that's where it'll start to, to catch up so we've put that that video uh, camera right there we're talking and we're giving our presentation we're going through some of those points um, and you know we might play a pre-recorded video we could drop up a graphic or two um, we've got a couple of other scenes that are available to us that we could make use of and you can see in, in that um, attendee experience they're all um, able to go to the Yammer page they can um, drop in some questions so can you give us an update on the modern workplace project All right, so that's going to be a question that's going to sit there and this is where if you're working with someone who's helping you produce this event then they they can sit there and they can keep an eye out for some of those questions and feed them through to you um, so that you can go ahead and answer those or you can go um, back and, and answer those questions um, within the the live chat before or during or after that event All right so we have we have the ability to go live from our mobile phones uh, we can drop in here uh, another um, graphic let's go and see what else we could do here we could drop in a, a local video let's go into our camera roll and find something here now this was a, a walkabout video that I'd um, recorded the other day um, it's uh, just a review on a, a team's bot so this is just showing you that you can um, choose a video and and also play this out as if it was pre-recorded video it's only a two minute video but um, this could be pushed through to our our live audience All right so it's just compressing that we've got it chosen and we can go ahead and play that and it is muted so that's good All right so you'll see again that there's that delay before it actually goes through to the live event but that's that's basically how it works it's it's pretty good it means that we can go live from our mobiles we don't have to have a um, you know a highly powered computer there to do all the rendering and do all the encoding for us but we could do it directly from our mobiles or our tablets like an iPad if you wanted to do it from there too lots of different options um, but good thing is that it, it allows you to go live from another location. You could get a tripod, you could set up your, your audio, you could do your, your review there with, um, with your CEO and get some comments about what's happening in the background at a certain event. Right, so that was uh, Daryl as a service, just showing you how to use live events and uh, a bit of a hack around how to use your mobile to produce a live event. Um, 
just tune in again to, to check out some of those other tips. I'm going to probably have a look at how to, to do it with a couple of other apps that are available. This was the Minicam app. Uh, there's another one from Wirecast that we'll look at too that allows us to um, create other scenes, uh, but it also allows us to do action replay. So there's all sorts of things that we could uh, imagine and, and uh, go ahead with there. But thanks for tuning in, and if you've got any questions, just drop them in the, the comments there. Uh, do make sure that you subscribe and that you hit the bell there so you can get some notifications about when I've got a new video for you. Thanks for watching.